Alright, hello there. Um, welcome to this recording. Um, today we'll be looking at how to configure a Mobus RTU slave using Siemens N7 PLC. So I'm just going to start with creating the program on the S on Tiaporta, which is Siemens software for. Siemens software for programming the S7 1200 PLC. So I'm gonna configure a device. I have here a I have a S7 1211 DC DC relay. So I'm just gonna go hard it. Alright, so so fine. So I'm just gonna configure it. Uh, my fiscal and PLC is on zero dot one ninety one six eight zero dot nineteen. I'm gonna put nineteen here. Then I'm gonna start the program writing. So I'm gonna add a new block. Which is gonna be my data block for holding registers. Alright, I'm just gonna create two um arrays of values I'll call this um view no int int and I've got values I'm gonna make it an array zero to ten of int. Then I have another one view values. Make it zero to ten of view. So that's fine. Then I'm going to remove optimize block access such that I'll be able to use I'll be able to have my offsets in addressing individual um, register values. So I'll go compile. Then I go into my main OB1. Fine, then I'll go to commun communication processor mode bus. Oh, before this, I'll need to add um, the mode bus card, which is communication board CB1241, and configure some parameters. Yeah, so gonna make this 19200 parity I'm gonna make it an even parity and that's most of the configuration you're gonna do alright so we'll go back to OB1 we'll pick mode bus we have two blocks first one for communication and then the other for your slave so i'll pick mobile slave oh i need you here So my slave address is going to be five. 
My Odin register is the register I just created. Let's drag it down here. Okay. Then my request, my request. I'm going to use um initial call, which is a temporary variable. My port. Remember our port is nineteen two hundred. No, sorry. Oh, our ports. Just right click. Yeah, these are our ports. Then our board rate is 19200. Our parity is 2 because it's even. All this one, even is 2. No parity is 0. Then move board DB. I'll just copy this and paste. Mobile DB. So with this, I think we are good to go. I've got my audio register, my address, slave, parity, board, pop. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Compile and download. Is this search? All right, load. This is just because I have another, um, had an earlier program in the PLC, so I just stop all and load. Okay, it's loading, loading, finish. All right, then I go online. Okay. So this is good. I could monitor and see. Okay, done true, no errors. No errors. Alright, so this is fine. So now I've successfully configured um the mobile's arrow to you for the twelve S seven twelve hundred as a sleeve mobile sleeve device. So we're just gonna go into the configuration of the mobile pool and see so let's go offline and pick mobile pool so pick pole so this is mobile's pole so uh we're reading holding registers our slave address is five so mobile's pole is like um a mobile's test um software where you could test mobile's communication if you don't have another mobile's device so i'm using it because i'm not using another physical peer so another physical mobile's device so a slave ID is five already holding registers. So let's read from zero to fifteen. Okay. Um then connect. Yeah, so com five is for um the mobile device. Even priority. Okay. So good. Now we are connected as you could see. There's no errors. So let's attempt to send values from the mobile spool to 
do 1200 and let's see so i type in values here 10 i type in 35 oh takes all the integers yeah that's fine so i type in 450 okay so let's check our 1200 parts if these values 10 35 450 if they appear in the um simmons tier portal oops so i have to go to data block to go online okay uh, monitor so good so what about values here we have 10 we have 35 we have 450 which we sent from the mobile pool so basically so this is how you just configure um 1200 semester 1200 plc as a mobile sleeve device